The Daughters of Bilitis What if the world today was different? What if you were allowed only one way to love, and would be hated and possibly hurt if you loved differently? You could not be different, and people had the right to discriminate against you, badly, if you were. The world was like that, before organizations like the Daughters of Bilitis. The Daughters of Bilitis, or DOB, was the first lesbian rights organization in the U.S., DOB fought for lesbian rights and for lesbians to be able to be more social and comfortable with themselves. The members of DOB encouraged lesbians to come out of the closet and embrace who they were. DOB was founded in 1955 by four lesbian couples, including Phyllis Lyon and Del Martin. DOB was started as a secret social club for lesbians, starting with only eight members. But after the organization started to get bigger, it became more of a political lesbian rights organization, protesting and becoming more social. The organization took its name from a collection of poems written by Pierre Louis called The Songs of Bilitis. Bilitis was a female character who was romantically associated with Sappho, the female Greek lyric poet. DOB has made the world a more lesbian friendly environment and has helped lesbians become more tolerated among people who thought they were strange before. Before DOB, lesbianism was something frowned upon, and for few people it still is, but DOB has opened many people's minds. In October 1956, the Daughters published the first issue of the latter. Lyon edited it as Anne Ferguson for the first few months, but dropped the name as a way of encouraging their readers not to hide. It was magazines where lesbians could socialize, read and write about their problems and feelings. It was published monthly from 1956 to 1972. The Daughters Who Built This is significant to the history of the U.S. because it was one of the first lesbian rights organizations in America, and the DOB changed the way many people viewed the term lesbian. It took over 60 years, many protests and organizations, but now, being lesbian or gay is okay. It's not strange or an ordinary anymore. I think that DOB was a revolutionary organization, and it has opened my mind a lot more about lesbianism. Some people still think that being lesbian is strange, but the important thing is that many people don't. If I was a lesbian and the DOB was still running, I would say it was a life-changing thing and that it helped many people come out of the closet. Speaking of coming out of the closet, at my old school, one of my friends was a lesbian. I won't say her name, but I will say that she was scared of coming out. She didn't know if her parents would approve or not. She asked me to help her, and I did. We researched about lesbian organizations and things like the DOB, and I could tell that it made her more comfortable knowing that she wasn't the only one. I wasn't long, around long enough to know if she came out, but I hope she did. My questions for further inquiry could be, why did it take so long before lesbians were actually tolerated? Or, before the DOB, how were lesbians really treated? Or, why was it not okay to be a lesbian? Or, will lesbians and gay people ever be fully tolerated in this world?